Hi. Today we'll discuss about Hydra, which is a popular password cracking tool often used by penetration testers to uh, brute force login credentials for various services like FTP, HTTP, HSS, MySQL, and more. So, <clears throat> the syntax for Hydra, the syntax for Hydra is, you have the word Hydra, uh, dash L, then the login. So if you know the username, you type. If you don't know the username, but you have a list of possible usernames, then you will use the dash big L file. Same with the password, dash P if you know the password, and dash big P if you have a list of uh, possible passwords. But obviously, we will use this one because we will be cracking the password. We have also examples here. For example, Hydra dash L user because again you know the uh, username. Then dash P pass list the text or you can use your own word list. Another one, Hydra user list. If you don't know the you the exact user, but you think the user <coughs> name is uh, within your user list, I'll show you a uh, uh, word list. So uh, this is common passwords. You also have common usernames. <clears throat> this is just a list of words that can be used as or possible use as the password. For example, uh, we will open that one. Um, common. <clears throat> common passwords. So see, uh, these are just possible passwords. So, there is also a big password called the uh, Rakyo. It's so, it's a very large uh, password and uh, word list that contains millions of lines. So, going back to Hydra. <clears throat> so we will use this one example. For example, you know the username hydra dash l f let's say you know the username is uh, ftp user but you don't know the uh, password so you can use the for example if you want to use the uh, rakyo it's located where rakyo is located rakyo, so it's located here so you can put this one in the it's an argument here. It's like that. Then FTP 192.168.1.8. As I've said, I have FTP server running on 192.168. But we will not be using this Rakyo because this is too big. We will be using the common passwords.txt. <clears throat> so when I press enter, it will be cracking the password. This will, this could take, uh, this could take a while or it could take less time depending on uh, <clears throat> what is in your word list. And of course, it will also say it doesn't find any if your word list doesn't contain the correct password. Okay, so now we have here 
the password. Data tracking, FTP, and there you have it. Now let's try to crack the password of my SQL using Hydra. So basically the syntax is still the same. You have <coughs> Hydra and then you have the username. Now for the username, let's talk about the username first of MySQL. The problem with other users is when they install the MySQL, they don't bother to change the default values. In the Hydra, I mean in the MySQL, there is a default username called root and it has a default password blank. Now some of the users doesn't care to change. They just, and they even use the that username and password and they build the database. So it's very easy for the hackers to get into your system. Just imagine the user, the hacker should have to guess the user and the password. But since you make use of the default username, it means that 50% of the work has already been done for the hacker. So it's very important to change the default values after you install something. Okay, in this case, we have dash L and then the user root. Then we have dash P and then we have the path to the word list, rockyou.txt. And we have the MySQL. Instead of earlier, we use the FTP. Now, since we are dealing with MySQL, we'll use MySQL. Now, if I press this enter, you will see here info reduce number of tasks to four. MySQL does not like many parallel connections. What does it mean? Now, I have tried many times the Hydra tool, and say, for example, the password is found on your word list, but you notice Hydra wasn't able to capture it. And uh, at the end of the cracking, Hydra will say that there is no password found. That is because <clears throat> in MySQL, it's better to have the the connection <clears throat> one at a time. That's what I learned about the Hydra. So it's a waste of time, especially if you are using if you are using the Rakyu word list in which it is very big, and then you will not find anything. You will think that. The password is not on the list but actually it is on the list so you have to set other parameters let's uh, stop this one <clears throat> let's have let's go back to our command now you have to set the connection time t1 <clears throat> and then You have also to set the maximum number of parallel tasks to just one. So you have this T1. Because Hydra, so for example, if there are 10 uh, words in the word list and Hydra will uh, say four, will have four parallel testings, it means he will 
uh, get the first, second, third, and fourth line. <coughs> but the problem with that sometimes, when Haida tries to connect it to tries to connect to MySQL, there will be a uh, timeout. So what we should do is set the these things to minimum and then we will have to increase our wait time before retries to a bigger number let's say 60 seconds so dash w that is for the wait time 60 like that in that case <coughs> When Hydra retries, you will not be in a hurry to retry because sometimes when there is a timeout and then you retry again immediately, the timeout will still be there. So you have to give the system a little bit of uh, breathing space. <clears throat> so if we now... Uh, in this demonstration also, instead of using RACU, which is a big file, I'll be using the common uh, passwords. The text. <clears throat> okay. So, let's press this. Enter. Okay. So, as you can see, Hydra was able to get the password now let's try if that is really the password <clears throat> my sql you root uh, p then msf admin okay so show databases yeah so we were able to access the or we were able to get the password for the mysql <clears throat> that is another example of how you can use hydra to get to crack the username and password the in this uh, demo password but again you can specify the user list and the password list so uh, by the way, again, in all of my demo, I am using a controlled environment wherein I am just using my uh, machines. And then you learn something here, but I, uh, it's for educational purposes only. So you will be aware of how hackers do it, but it doesn't mean you will do it to somebody else's system or computer because that is illegal <clears throat> as uh, ethical hackers we should know that we only do we only test systems if we are permitted to do so okay so thank you and see you on my next demo <clears throat>